haunting ghosts caught on camera. The ghost in room one. Duke's top five viewer, Russ, is a certified nursing assistant working in an undisclosed hospital in North Carolina. So early one morning, Russ is called in to monitor an emergency surgery. While on the operating floor, he takes a look at the CCTV camera feeds and notices something truly bizarre in another operating room that's supposed to be empty. Yo, this place is f***ing haunted. Let me show you something, bro. All right, so look, this is channel one. That's room one, right? This thing was standing in the f***ing corner. Room one is all the way down there. It's the last door. Nobody's in here. We got people in room three doing surgery, but nobody's in here, look. I've been chilling at the desk and this thing said movement detected. We got people in here, but not room one, and that thing is gone. An odd pale translucent figure that seems to be wearing a hospital gown can be seen standing in room one, a hospital room used for C-sections. Russ explains that only room number three was in use for surgery at the time, while room number one, this room, was completely empty. No one was there, nor was anyone even allowed in there. Russ believes the hospital to be haunted. But what do you think? Could this be the ghost of a patient who didn't survive, stuck forever inside the hospital? Let me know. The Weeper. A little over a year ago, a Japanese man who goes by the name Yama Q was looking for a rental home. He found a nice 40-year-old renovated house in Japan with an incredibly low rental price. Yama was blown away and he happily signed the rental contract right away. But as you might suspect, Yama soon discovered just why the house's rental price was so low. You see, the home carries a bit of a dark history. The house's previous owner tragically passed away inside the home's bathroom from an undisclosed illness. Only four months after Yama moves in, strange things begin to happen in the dead of night. Yama Q starts a YouTube channel and begins to record the increasingly spooky activity around his home. Night after night, a mysterious knocking sound can be heard coming from the bathroom. No matter how hard he tries, Yamakyu is never able to find the source. He has no idea what could be causing this terrifying phenomenon. One night, Yama is a bit disturbed when a neighborhood dog shows up at his home. The dog is usually quiet and friendly, but this time it seems distressed by something. The dog aggressively growls and barks at something Yama can't see. The next day, he finds the dog back at its neighborhood home, safe and sound, 
and friendly as always. But that certainly isn't the end of Yamakyu's paranormal problems. Only nine months after moving in, he experiences something truly terrifying. blood-curdling wail can be heard coming from right outside Yama's living room window. But when he goes outside to investigate, the creepy moaning suddenly just stops. As Yama Q's YouTube audience grows, his many shocked viewers request that he get better equipment to capture the supernatural phenomena. Yama orders a thermal imaging camera and waits for his next opportunity to record and capture what's going on in his home. And this is where things take a turn towards the truly bizarre. Because one month later, this happens. With two cameras ready, Yama goes on the attack as he throws boiling hot water at the spot where the weeping voice seems to be coming from. Whatever is making the noise seems to cry out as the scalding water is thrown, and then all goes quiet. But nothing shows up on the thermal imaging camera. These days, unfortunately, Yamakyu's increased YouTube popularity has led to unwelcome strangers discovering his address in Japan, and sometimes they just show up at his house unannounced in the hopes of experiencing some of the paranormal activity for themselves. Troubled and stressed out by the creepy stalker-like visits Yamakyu shares on his YouTube page that sadly, he'll be uploading less often. To this day, Yamakyu still experiences horrifying events at his haunted home in Japan. But is it real? Could the wailing voice and aggressive knocking be the spirit of the previous owner who passed away in the bathroom? Let me know what you think. Mirror, mirror. Paranormal investigator Amy from the YouTube channel Shadow Hunters UK TV is joined by fellow ghost hunters Moxley's Paranormal and Ghosts on Trent as they stay at the infamously haunted 30 East Drive in Pontefract, England. They say that long ago on this very same location, a monk was hanged for taking the life of a young girl. The house is said to be haunted by his angry spirit, which they call the Black Monk. Throughout the house, there are CCTV cameras installed and one of them captures a very bizarre and chilling event as Amy simply looks at herself in the upstairs bedroom mirror. She makes like a creepy smile. Oh. <laughs> Amy's face appears to distort into a horrifying gaping maw. Her mouth opens up to such an impossible extent that the investigators believe that they might have captured a paranormal transfiguration. 
The video is definitely very creepy and doesn't appear to be a digital glitch. But just what do you think happened here? Let me know down in the comments. You can watch the full two-part investigation at the Haunted 30 East Drive over on the YouTube channel Shadow Hunters UK TV. The Demon Down the Hall Supernatural investigator Cody Aaron says in his YouTube and TikTok videos that he doesn't believe that ghosts are real, or at least that they aren't the lingering spirits of humans. Instead, he believes that all paranormal experiences are actually demonic in nature. Cody says that he has successfully helped troubled families struggling with demonic presences for years. So when a family member reaches out to Cody about the terrifying activity occurring in their office building, the concerned investigator doesn't hesitate to offer a helping hand. But what he encounters in this office building even takes him by surprise. Cody records as he explores the creepy empty office space at night. What happens next is downright chilling. Okay, you guys, so uh, this is the door that moves on its own, and that's the chair that moves on its own. And uh, I'm just tired, you know, there's absolutely nothing here this time. I, I've not seen anything. Uh, it's 946, and usually everything happens by this time, but nothing's going on. There was way more people than what's usually here today, so I kind of guess maybe that's what it is, and I'm just going to call it a day. Uh, I'll start again tomorrow, maybe, and we'll see what we Okay, so uh, I'm the only one here right now, and the door just closed on its own. Uh, Did you see it? Cody is completely unaware of what appears to be a small girl standing right behind him. When he walks into the room the figure appeared in, a door behind him slams shut. After reviewing his spooky footage, the investigator decides to return for another night. And it did not go well. Okay, so I'm here by myself. All of these green lights means that there's no motion, right? Look in this room. What in the world is that? That is insane. I have never seen something like this. This is directly beside me in the next room. Did you see that? It disappeared. What in the world? Okay, I, I'm going over. I I have to see what this is. See and look. Here is the motion detection for me in this room. There I am on the screen. There's no motion detect. Look, look, it's moving, and there's no motion detection right there. That is nuts. Look at that. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need Eric's help for this. I, I'm not gonna do this by myself. Cody is shocked when suddenly a loud voice yells, Leave. Leave! So could it be that the office building is haunted by a demonic presence? Or could it all just be an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can check out more paranormal moments over on Cody Aaron's TikTok page and YouTube channel. Signs and signals. Ghost Hunters Dave and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals were contacted by one of their viewers about a home that they were renovating to be sold. During renovations, they experienced loud, unexplained knocking and banging, and objects seemed to mysteriously move around all on their own. 
The renovators got so spooked that they put a complete stop to the project. The house has been sitting empty ever since, with no hope of it ever being sold. Dave and Dell head out to investigate the house and search for a possible cause for the unexplained terrifying events. As soon as the guys arrive and step out of their car, they already hear strange banging sounds coming from inside the dark, creepy house. I got it, I got it, I got it. Look, look, look. You hear that, right? Yeah. It's just... Dude, I'm not going in there. You are out of your mind if you think I'm going in there. Dude, they, that's what they say they hear in here. But damn, yeah, I know, that's... So like what we heard Where's the flashlight? You got the flashlight? Yeah. yeah. Get that bag. Get the bag. What the f man? God damn. Dude, come on, man. I know we ain't about to go in here. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know, dude. What, what are we supposed to do? She said this was like the problem that was going on. What, she said there were bangs like this? Yeah, I mean, she said that the cruise was getting run up by bangs and things moving around and sh If this is paranormal thing, then we need to have this on camera. Was that a bird? Yeah. Dude, Dale. Black hill. Yo. Anybody in here? Dave and Dale look through the entire house and find nothing and no one to explain the banging sounds they heard. Then things get weird. Exploring one of the rooms, loud banging absolutely scares the shit out of the two ghost hunters and they make a run for it. Then before they can even get out, a heavy hallway door slams shut right in front of them. After uploading their video to YouTube, many viewers requested that the two investigators head back to the haunted house one final time. Slightly terrified, the two friends agree. When they are about to enter the building through the front door, Dave hears mm, something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. God damn. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. You sound like you scared the shit out of yourself. <laughs> Hello. Yo. Dave tries to joke around as they are about to enter the house, but both of the guys are feeling quite a bit nervous. Once inside, the two friends search through the entire house, checking every room. But, well, nothing happens and no one's there. But then, they hear something horrifying. I know you're f***ing with me, dude. Is that up? That ain't upstairs, that's back there. Listen. It is, dude, it is back like here. It's the creepiest thing I've ever heard. Hello? Dale, you I swear to God, if you're with me, just let me get it. Hello? Open the door. How do you know they didn't play music? Man, you crazy for going in there. 
must, we can't just run from this People give us so much for this. What the am I looking at? All right, now's the time to tell me if you're really messing with me. Are, are you, are you messing with me? Yeah, I walked all the way back here and started. I don't know, you do some crazy shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, look, look, how did that thing turn out? Straight up, bro. That's some, I ain't messing with you. Dave and Dell find the music box playing inside one of the bedroom closets. When Dave turns toward Dell, a dark figure can be seen in the reflection of a mirror hanging on the closet door. Whoever or whatever it is appears to just be watching the two investigators from the other room. Dave and Dell decide to leave the house, having no clue of what they just captured. You can watch this entire two-part investigation over on the YouTube channel, Signs and Signals. Creepy Crawler A high school student from Boswell, Pennsylvania is walking home from her friend's house late one night when she begins to notice someone is following her. Fearing the worst, the girl takes out her phone and begins to record as she gathers her courage and turns to confront her unknown stalker. What she sees shocks her to the core. Who's there? A humanoid-like creature with glowing eyes stands up on two legs before seemingly beginning to chase her on all fours. Luckily, the high school girl got away unharmed left with only nightmares about the terrifying encounter and a very strange video. So what do you think can be seen in this footage? Is it an unknown creature or maybe just a person with freakishly odd proportions and uh, glowing eyes? Either way, you decide. Who's there? along for the ride. In this next creepy video, a man on a bicycle can be seen making his way through the streets of a town somewhere in Japan. A camera mounted to his bike helmet captures something absolutely terrifying. Ooh. slams on his brakes when suddenly a woman appears out of nowhere at the corner. However, when he turns around, the woman has disappeared. Later when he arrives at his destination, his helmet camera captures the terrifying disfigured apparition standing right behind him. What happened to the man is a mystery. Could the strange figure be the spirit of a traffic accident victim out for revenge on whoever crosses her path? Unfortunately, as with most Japanese videos, the source on this one is completely unknown. So we'll just never know. What lurks in the tunnels? Paranormal investigator L from the YouTube channel K&L Ghost Hunters travels to the historic Smethwick Bass in Birmingham, England. The swimming center was built in the 1930s and used as an air raid shelter and morgue during the Second World War. Underneath the building, there's an elaborate system of tunnels. Now, during the construction of these tunnels, over 300 bodies were found buried here. All of them were victims of the plague that swept through the country during medieval times. With such a long, dark history, it's really no surprise that the building and the tunnels are said to be haunted. One particular angry spirit has been reported to be aggressive towards women. Elle is completely alone down in the tunnels when she captures something truly unnerving. So here I am, it's Mavic Bats, on my own, no K. He's got a bad tooth. Here we are, another tunnel.
de hermanas. Let's rewind and look at that again. Who or whatever this is does not have a torch. There is a low hanging pipe here. I'm five foot three and I have to duck down. So either this is a very short person or a child. But let's be clear. Children are not allowed in this part of the building or indeed on a paranormal investigation. As the site is a health and safety nightmare, I had to receive permission to walk the tunnels on my own. Without a torch, the chances are that you will probably hit your head on one of the low pipes or slip down one of the massive drains. A dark figure can be seen walking behind Elle without a flashlight, yet somehow effortlessly maneuvering around the low hanging pipes and dangerous open drains. Could it be that this is the dark spirit that has a hatred for women, stalking Elle as she explores alone? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky adventures over on the YouTube channel, KNL Ghost Hunters. Caught on CCTV. This next creepy video was sent in to me by a Nukes Top 5 viewer, but after further contact, I was never able to determine a direct source. Viewer Yul Pedroso claims that this footage was captured by CCTV cameras in Guam. The video shows a few cars parked outside a building when someone watching the CCTV feed notices something truly disturbing. Oh, we're on the other side, right? Yeah, that's the face. There, look at that. Okay. Holy There's a lot of them, no? Yeah, look at these. That's right, it is. There's like three or four. He's on top of the car. Yeah, yeah. on top of the car. Are there, kid, are there kids or adults? Do you guys standing top of the car? Yeah. They look like kids. I'm standing clear at the top of the car. So clear, right? Yeah. Dancing. Yeah, dancing. Shaking the ship side to side. Like this, huh? Like this. Mm. What is that? They're kids. They're, they're windows. Yeah, go look at that, go look at that. Huh? That's not a duendes. I've seen a before. It was smaller than them. And a little bit like job, you know, thick. Yeah, look at that. In the hood now, right? Yeah, it's in the hood. He's on the hood of the car. In the hood and the windshield. You got one foot on the windshield. See you now? Yeah, look, 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 look. You got up again. So clear. You got up again on the roof. Call that friend of yours and look at the hood and the roof. See the scope prints? No, call your friend. Maybe she got accident or what? Yeah. See if he's got a... Yeah, I, I'm telling you, call her now. See if she got footprints on the top. Okay, where's your phone? Can you call her up? Yeah. You know what I was uh, outside? On the side of my eyes, I saw somebody went like this, right? Real quick. And then all of a sudden, I kept saying, no, that couldn't be a dog. Because if it's a dog, it'll be the grass will be moving. Where's she calling her now? 486, the 923. Oh, somebody's coming in or... A light one. That's only one That's it, right? You moved away. Someone suddenly appears to be standing on top of a car. Whoever or whatever it is on the CCTV footage seems to move about in a very strange way, almost as if weightless. Then the figure slowly disappears. Those watching the camera seem alarmed by what they see and have no explanation for what's happening. So, what do you think? Could this be a really strange video glitch? Is it a hoax? And if so, why would someone risk damaging their car by standing and moving on the roof? Let me know down in the comments. Right next door. This next video comes from a TikTok page that is completely unrelated to anything paranormal. TikTok user Nicolas Lorenzon from Argentina normally just shares videos of his family, travel, workouts, cars, and motorcycles. But one day out of curiosity, Nicholas decides to explore an abandoned house in his city that is said to be haunted. He jokingly walks through the building, shouting and pretending to be the police. It's not until he reviews his footage later that he discovers something truly bizarre. What is it? 
someone or something can be seen watching Nicholas from a doorway before quickly disappearing out of sight. Nicholas has no idea who or what he captured on that night and is very glad that he didn't notice or have a more direct encounter with this odd, creepy figure. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you never miss a video. My Instagram is here, my Twitter is there, and TikTok. Hopefully, I'll see you back here for the next video.